It's mid-July and like many communities across the Lakeland viewing area, festivals are a common sight in the summer. On this week's Community Spotlight, our Josh Peterson checked out Bemidji's annual art festival. For 49 years, every summer in mid-July, you can take a stroll through Bemidji's parks. But on this particular weekend, it's no ordinary stroll through the park. Last change is color in my and I've always returned back to its color. This stroll in the park is a favorite tradition in the Bemidji area, known as Art in the Park. It is the 49th annual Art in the Park Festival and Art Fair, and it's an event that the Watermark Art Center has been doing for years. It started with some community members back in 1967, but it's become an annual event that we host every year. Walking through the park, and you can explore many types of art. Some you can even try out for yourself, offering something for kids of all ages. So people can see artists in doing their work, creating their work, ask them questions. So that's the other thing. You get to meet the artists. So Art in the Park's great. You get to buy, you get to meet the artist, and it's a fun event. We also have great food in our food court, so it can make an afternoon of it. For some exhibitors, this has become an annual pilgrimage, claiming that Bemidji's Art Festival is one of the best. Just ask Baxter resident Lance Hanfler, who has been part of Art in the Park for 45 years. I love coming here because we used to live here, and uh, I don't know, it's uh, seemed to get uh, meet people from all over the country here. I do about six or seven shows during throughout the summer, and this is at the top. Every year, thousands flock to the city of Bemidji for Art in the Park, making this a destination event. I think it's a great thing for people who are visiting the community love to come. It also becomes sort of a social event for uh, our community members, so you get to see your neighbors and uh, do a little shopping. While this year's Art in the Park Festival has just wrapped up, plans for next year's 50th anniversary has already begun. We're just going to try and have more activities and maybe some music and things. So they're just starting to make plans now, but we're going to try and, and do it right for the 50th. So we're very excited about that. With this week's Community Spotlight, in Bemidji, I'm Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.